we're talking with Sean here. We've met here recently at the current resort we're staying at. It's interesting listening to some of the stories from everybody and why they went full-time RVing. Since we came to California and came up to the coast to the San Francisco Bay Area, Bay Area. Still, yeah, a lot of stories we noticed have changed uh, why they went full-time RVing. I've been full-time RVing for a few weeks now and everything's going pretty smoothly. There are some cons and a lot of pros. I can tell you I'm a lot more relaxed with this lifestyle. Um, I come to the park, I can go swimming, there's basketball courts, there's pool tables. You're kind of living, you know, and mm -hmm. living, working, day-to-day -day life stuff, but you're still partly on vacation too, which is really nice. With our Tour Outlaw 37RB, we're planning a lot more vacations as well. We're gonna be doing a big vacation up to Colorado and Utah and Nebraska, and so it's gonna be a nice trip. Like I was just a, you know, regular nine to five job in Silicon Valley and um, had a nice home um, and so just living the regular life but Silicon Valley is getting so crowded a few years back I started really wanting to get out and I wanted to be more in the country have some acres have some dirt bikes and just be able to go on my dirt bikes and go out riding the Silicon Valley lifestyle and what I call the rat race just really wasn't working for me and during that process unfortunately I'm going through a divorce too. So we've sold the house and then me and my ex-wife were splitting up the proceeds of the house and I took some of the proceeds from the house and mm -hmm. bought this RV. Yeah. For all you single ladies out there, I hope you noticed that plug there. Okay. <laughs> <Go ahead. Yeah. laughs> Here we go, yeah. I'll give you my phone number at the bottom too. <laughs> so yeah, I bought the RV and uh, bought some dirt bikes like I wanted. So now I have dirt bikes and we do go dirt bike riding often and I, have, I still have a little bit of money in the bank. We bought this house, it's 1,650 square feet in San Jose. It's in a neighborhood called Willow Glen. We bought it for 560000 in 2009, March 2009. Exactly 10 years later, we sold it in April for $1.3 million. It's wow. insane, insane. Now along with that appreciation the rents have gone sky high so that 1600 square foot house we could have been renting it out for 4500 easily a month wow yeah to be honest with you you know i'm a i work for a small parks department and i'm an arbor so pretty much a blue collar worker i'm not making two three four hundred thousand a year like some of the engineers in silicon valley you know it's another reason why i want to exit Silicon Valley, you know? It's not just housing prices, registration's expensive, electric's expensive, water's expensive, sewer's expensive, and you can just go down the list. Cable's expensive, food is more expensive. It doesn't matter if you make a lot of money in Silicon Valley, you're still almost living paycheck to paycheck. Personally, I didn't want that lifestyle anymore, so one of the changes that I've personally made is to do the RV lifestyle because um, Overall, once you actually have your unit, it is, a, it is a less expensive lifestyle. And you get a lot more enjoyment and freedom. Yeah. Because, hey, you can really pick up and go and be in another state yeah. in your home. And if the market crashes again, you're not stuck in that home or in a pressured situation where you can't go anywhere. Exactly. I weighed the pros and cons pretty heavily and crunched some numbers and thought about the, because I bought this brand new, and thought about the depreciation over two years, plus uh, space rent, which I'm doing the Thousand Trails membership, and it's working out pretty good. But uh, the depreciation is still less than what I would be paying for an apartment in San Jose. Yeah, the cost way out too, you know. You know, this unit is a pretty nice unit, and it's, uh, for me and my son, it's working great. Your son like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he does. Yeah, yeah. Have you uh, talked to very many families with kids and? Yeah. A lot of people you get um, that haven't done this before think, 
oh, you know, your kids don't have any life out there. They don't, aren't yeah. meeting all these other kids. But what we found, we keep meeting all these other full-time families. We found the complete opposite. Yeah. We homeschool my son. And then um, actually just a couple spaces over, we met a family the other day that has three dogs, two kids, <laughs> and they're staying in the fifth wheel. When I was talking to them, they stayed in this part for about two weeks. And then they just took off to Yosemite for a week and stayed up there for a week. Mm -hmm. And then they came back to this part. They also homeschool their kids yeah. also. But I can tell you as a homeschooling father, you, there's nothing better than to spend time with your children. Yeah. And one-on-one -on -one time of educating your child is huge. It's huge. It beats a teacher trying to educate 30 children on a spectrum curve. Right. Uh, he gets good one-on-one -on -one education and as many of you know being on the road there's a lot of education on the road oh yeah 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 so yeah. I know a lot of people think when your kids are homeschooled there's that myth out there that they don't have any interaction with other kids but that's, that's completely untrue oh here's my son right here and this is our dog Woody he's Say a hi. French bulldog oh hi. yeah you're on camera <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Emmerich, how is it the socialization of school? Do you feel you have more socialization in school when you were in school or now when you're homeschooled? With who? With anybody, just in general. Oh, yeah. More socialization homeschooling. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. Thanks, Emmerich. The gamer stud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've only been doing it a like I said, a few weeks, but I'm enjoying it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah we, we do yeah. too. Uh, approaching seven months now, coming up. Okay. And doesn't sound like long, but you do learn a lot in a short yeah. amount of time, don't you? Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, definitely. And there are yeah. downsides, you know? It's, it's kind of life. Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. You talk to any millionaire or billionaire, there's downsides about having millions and billions of dollars, you know? Right, yeah. Look at all the celebrities and, and pro football players that get a lot of money and can't manage it and then they're broke yeah. in 10 years you know money doesn't yeah. get rid of problems exactly unless it's called debt exactly <laughs> yeah yeah for me it was living in silicon valley was kind of like stop chasing the money dream and then you know i'm 48 now and then you know i think a lot of people get to a point where they start realizing that living life is more important than living to gain money and I've even heard a quote that said, Americans are crazy because they work their whole lives to get a lot of money. And then the last part of their lives, they spend all that money on their health. I didn't want to be one of those people, you know? And then yeah. you really don't even think about it until you hear it for the first time, that yeah. statement. And then you're like, oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but exactly. let me ask you this. Yeah. So let's say you had that same job. Uh -huh. You lived somewhere else that had a lot less cost of living. Yeah. Would you want to be back in that position? No, no, no. Um, so the other thing I'm trying to transition into is is leave the day-to-day -day work. So I'm a health coach, and what I do is really help people get on track with their health. Oh, that's cool. um, so I'm not a nutritionist. I understand nutrition. I'm not a nurse or a doctor. I can't prescribe anything, which the only prescriptions I would really give is eat your vegetables yeah. and exercise more and then, you know, start cutting out wheat and GMOs and, you know, start eating healthy and eating organic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's really what I do is just help people get on track, help people lose weight and start feeling good about themselves again. That's awesome. Yeah. For me, at the same time, when I started um, thinking about RVs and could I do this or anything and really watching a lot of YouTube channels on, on RVs and full-time RVers and and um, but at that same time I realized that this lifestyle is going to be hard while working a full-time job you know and yeah you can buy a unit go full-time live at a local park and save a ton of money but um, working nine to five at a regular job it's going to be hard to travel around mm -hmm. you know unless you um, really figure out a way to, to change. And, and um, one of those changes for me is doing what we love to do. Well, I think when you start doing what you love to do versus working for the money, mm -hmm. the money will come. And if it's not a lot of money, 
just make adjustments in your life. You know, we'll see, for us it was a little different though, because uh, our costs of living that lifestyle uh -huh. are pretty much about the same as they are now. Oh, you know? okay, okay. But wouldn't go back to that, uh -huh. at least that's how we feel right now, because we're yeah. really enjoying this. So, yeah. Uh, you're getting, this seems like you're cheating life a little bit. You're getting a little bit more life. Yeah, yeah. By yeah. doing this. Yeah. It's kind of the best way I can describe it. Yeah, because you are working on the road and on vacation at the same time. Right. Yeah. And when you work a regular job and you come home, it's like you got to mow the yard. You got to, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. There's there's repairs on the RV and stuff, and you got to clean the RV every once in a while. But you don't have that those same commitments of. And then for me personally, the last few months I was in my house before we sold it. I was kind of coming a couch potato. Yeah, that's exactly what I was yeah. getting ready to say. Yeah, now it's 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 more of an active lifestyle. You have a nice RV, but when it's nice outside or, or in the evening, you want to go to the pool or, you know, you want to go take a walk or, you know, walk the dog. But so many people and families around here are outside all the time. Yeah, that, that's yeah. just it. Yeah. Um, like when we lived in, you know, home back, back in Iowa, we, um, we didn't do much during the week. We would work all day, and then in the evening we were that, a couch potato. Yeah. You know, had shows that we watched. Now we hardly watch any shows on TV, which, you know, you kind of miss some of those shows, but it's kind of good too, because now, you know, I always say that we work during the week, and then our weekends are for, you know, going and enjoying ourselves at the new location we're at, and, you know, it's trying to see everything. But a lot of times I have to work really late at night too, but, we can, you know, eat supper and we can go and take off and go somewhere for an hour or two and still enjoy the area. Yeah. And then come back and work if I have to. Then if you yes. get bored with the restaurants, yeah. you can just take a, a two-hour drive up to Napa. Yeah. Up to Napa, California, you know? That's right. Or, or a four-hour four drive to Yosemite. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right there, what you just said is one of the, the benefits. Working from home, but your home is on the road. For me right now, I see very little cons compared to the pros. I'm excited to, to keep going. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen one family that seemed like they were just down in the dumps. Everybody yeah. just seems, that, that's just it. The community and the RV world is just amazing. Everybody's yeah. always there to help each other. Everybody's so friendly. It's a lot it's more really personable. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. that's what I was yeah. looking for. Yeah, exactly. But then when you're inside your, your RV, you still have your privacy and you know, you don't, you know, you know what I don't miss having the home is all the people coming and knocking at my door, <laughs> yeah. selling candy, selling magazine subscriptions, selling, trying to sell me solar. Mm. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't had that. I would have had three. Sell your soul or yeah. sell your solar. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't have that anymore. And that's, yeah. you know, that's uh, just, you can think of a lot of different things, you know. It just goes <laughs> to show you, life's not perfect no matter what you do, where you're at, where you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's pretty darn close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, Sean. Well, thanks, yeah. Sam. Hey, thank you. And that right there is what makes this lifestyle even more rewarding. Friendships.